I meant to say pardon me, but it came out in El Bed. Oh, you're in El Bed. Mm -hmm. I am Rin, owner of this establishment. Hello, Dusadwi. Nice Hi. to meet you. It means nice to meet you. Ah, well, uh, Heli do sad we to you. Now, too. I'm gonna translate that just mm -hmm. because it's funny. If you are interested, L bed primers can be found all over Spira. Finding them and learning our language might be fun. Here, let me give you one in commemoration of our meeting. Although you might want to be careful where you speak our language. Okay, so we picked up the next Albed Primer. Translates R to H. Yeah, I hear Albed aren't liked much. <laughs> oh, uh, sorry. <sighs> A decky Chris. Ah! Someone help! The Chocobones! That's our cue. Let's go. Huh? Oh, thank you for your help. Please, use this. So, two Mega Potions as well. Now, a thing about Rin, uh, Rin here. In cases where the person translates it for you, like when Rin said, pardon me and nice to meet you in our bed, I'm not going to bother translating it because, well, Rin translates it for you. It is a ferocious beat. Yes, I know. I'm trying to say. Now, not for this boss, but before the next boss, I definitely will be... The things I'll be doing off-screen, I'll be grinding up to get Lulu up to her aura spells, and I will be getting Waka's at least attack reel. Now, Waka, like I said, has real attack... real limit breaks. He's currently only got the elemental reel. He gets the status reel and attack reel. Those three reels, basically elemental reel will deal elemented damage, even more if you line up three of the same type. Attack reel will, you would think, multiply how much your limit break will do, but what it actually does is use that many in its attack. You can get up to 12 attacks from a single limit break. And the status reel will, well, basically give you status-based attacks. I also never had a chance to talk about this, but there are also overdrive modes. We'll unlock more later, but for now, everybody is set to stoic. Which is charged whenever character takes damage. Awesome. Let's go. To the Chocobo Corral. To the Bocaho Chocoral. Yes, I said that intentionally, viewers. So, by heading up there, we'll get into a boss battle. Make sure everybody is ready. I'm gonna want to go on and start the battle off like thus. And so, we see the Chocobo Eater. This boss, like the Blitzerator, can be beaten one of two ways, and you can also fail to beat it. Basically, what'll happen is you can either kill it normally, which is what I'll be doing, which will get you more experience and the items. You can... Let's go on and have you use jump. Anyways, like I was saying, you can beat it normally like I'm going to do. You can have the, uh... Oh, fuck you, doodle doo. What am I thinking? Um, you can beat it normally. You can, uh... My brain is kind of dying here, viewers. There we go, I remember. When you knock it down, you can, when you attack it, you can 
occasionally push it back. If you push it far enough back, then it's going to essentially auto win. Okay, yeah, I wanted to be sure that it's weak to fire. When it's knocked down, I tend to like to cast magic because it takes a bit longer for it to take effect. Let's go on and use the elemental wheel. Looks like I'm going thunder, or not. Oh well, thunder, ice, thunder, still gonna do a bit of lightning damage. Didn't do as much as I wanted it to, but enough is enough. So, if we knock it down and push it back one more time, it will be enough to knock it off the cliff, but it'll do that, forcing your allies to be knocked back as well. So it keeps a pretty decent balance. The only real way you're going to be able to knock it off the cliff is if you essentially either take it on with an Aeon, which will do mass damage, or take it on with the uh, all of your allies hasted. Now, this does count as an armored enemy, so have you, having allies with piercing weapons is going to be very useful. So we've knocked it back once again. Nice critical. And as you can see this time, it's not immediately, uh, not immediately um, pushing back. It, I think it's like a 50-50 chance whenever its turn comes up, it'll push back. <sighs> okay, I'm just going to need to defend for now. Eh, you know what, I'll go on and pull in um, Yuna here to heal up Lulu. And defend. Let it get back up. Basically, I don't want to accidentally push it off of the edge. Now, if you're fighting it with an Aeon, it technically does not have the ability to push your Aeon back, if I remember right. So if you've got it all the way up to the edge, you can summon out an Aeon, and you don't have to worry in the least if it's going to be pushed back. And then we wait. Go on and pull Yuna back out here. Because curing. Ah, let's go on and pull Titus. And go on and give haste to Lulu. There we go. And bring Kamari back out, so I've got Scan, or Sensor. Now I want to get this guy down to, oh, about... 500, maybe 300 HP. That way I'm pretty well much guaranteed to get the, uh, overkill on it. Shouldn't take too long. Especially since now it's down to under a thousand. Down to 500. Uh, yeah, I'll go on and attack one more time. Beautiful. Go on and pull Yuna back out. And effort this bitch. So. We haven't used Ifrit's Limit Break yet. Let's check it out. Yes, I know it's called Overdrive. I'm just gonna keep calling it Limit Break. I'm just used to Limit Break. If you don't like it, viewers, then oh goddamn well. Let's check out Hellfire. This is the one thing about Aeon Overdrives. When you use them, you lose three turns, pretty much. Or, no, you lose two turns, pretty much. So, 
If I've done things right, this should overkill the boss. it off of the edge, I believe we get nothing for this battle. Now, the, what you can do to fail the battle is basically allow it to knock you over the edge. You'll be sent along a different road and won't be able to get everything immediately. For this battle, we pick up the Hunter's Sword. I'm pretty much going to sell it. I just wanted the extra experience and money. Like Have I you said, any interest in renting some chocobos. As a token of our gratitude, the first time is free of charge. Please ask the attendant if you wish to rent. Thank you so much for saving the chocobos. Like I said about the um uh you know what? I lost my train of thought. So let's go on and rent the chocobo. Yes, I want to ride. Now then, you actually do want to take the chocobo for a ride. If you fail the mission, you'll be knocked down there. You see there's a road off to the side. If you fail, that's where you'll be, and you won't be able to ride the chocobo, which means you won't be able to immediately get all of the extra items that you can only get with the chocobo. Look at all those chocobos being fun. Also, you wouldn't be able to get this cutscene right here. You run along. By the way, whenever you see a yellow feather on the ground while you're riding a chocobo, Hit X on it, and you'll jump to some secrets. Where we pick up a heat lance. I'll actually go on and equip that to Kimari when I get a chance. Speaking of... I don't want to move you yet. I can move you one without having to worry about missing that. And... yeah, there we go. Gimari. Finally upgraded to the Heat Lance. Thank you so much for your words yesterday. Fun stuff. Alright, um... Ah, there it is. I'll bet Primer. I knew there was one on the, uh, roads here. Translates E to I. And I believe that's all that we can get on this road. Now we need to go down. Maybe. I think I might be missing one thing. I'm not sure. I'll have to check on my way back. Before moving on, go on and open that. Two high potions. Nice. And this is where we would be coming out with if we would have failed that boss fight. Uh, let's see. Ah, there it is. I knew there was a feather around here somewhere. Come on. There we go. The Thunderblade. And a scout. Just more cell fodder. God damn it, why is the Chocobo tune so fucking catchy? Now, even though it looks like you can jump around on those things like the Chocobos over there are doing, there are no feathers and there's no treasure over there. 
so it's pretty well much a waste of time to attempt it. And a fortune sphere. For the time being, the, that is the only way we can get a... It's a waka! Coming down to the old road was a mistake. You can't run a business with no customers. So, can I interest you in something? And yes, I know its name, Oaka, but I like calling him Owaka. Unfortunately, because he's not selling any weapons at the moment, I can't sell the weapons and stuff I got from battling back to him. Sure are a lot of crusaders, and I wonder what they're up to. Save Sphere! Just keep on going, viewers. All the way back here is the Mars Crest. And with that, viewers, we have fully explored the low and high roads. Now, I'm going to spend quite a bit of time down here grinding some enemies. I'll go up to the high roads, grind some enemies. That way I can get some more ability spheres and other stuff. But for the time being, the reason why I stopped down here is because I'm going to save and then play a bunch of Blitzball until I unlock Waka's Limit Breaks. So viewers, with that, we'll probably see you tomorrow, because I've got a lot of stuff to do.